What is up guys? Welcome back to the Lumsden Motorsports Garage. I'm Wade Lumsden and we are back from uh, Rattlesnake Raceway in Fallon, Nevada. Or rather, I should say I'm back. Uh, my truck, trailer, and the modified are still out in Fallon at my dad's house. So, um, don't necessarily have a car to work on. Uh, or at least right at this moment. But, but um look what made it back into the driveway boom that's right it's the tough truck september um 24th and 25th we are having another tough truck competition at rattlesnake raceway in fallon and uh i uh i believe throughout some of these videos i showed you some of the uh parts and pieces that came in um that we're gonna try throwing at this thing and so I thought it was time to at least get it put back into the driveway uh, and start working on it. It's a bad habit, uh, but <laughs> we have, again, we have another month to get what we want done, done. So got to start working on it now and uh, hopefully we'll get finished. So yeah, let's get to work. So for those of you uh, that haven't watched any of the other Tough Truck videos, um, go ahead, go back and watch those. Uh, you'll see us race it and building it and all that happy stuff. But uh, kind of a quick overview of where we left off with the truck. Um, we, uh, we raced it, we had a great time. Uh, we ended up breaking off the mount, off the radiator. Um, so we had to bailing wire that in place. Uh, what else oh we blew all four of the shocks that we put on there um uh, we lost a tire um uh, we lost the right front tire to be more specific um and we broke um some of the body mount stuff here um uh, big crack right there on one of our um body mounts so um that's kind of kind of where we left the truck i guess right uh so future plans here uh if all things all things work out or don't work out um, I had gotten some shocks I'd shown those shocks uh, in uh, past videos kind of what we were wanting to do with them uh, but some 16 inch travel uh, bypass shocks um, FOA uh, shocks as the company FOA um, and I think we're gonna get those mounted in the back do I think I need 16 inch travel shocks absolutely not but the price was right um, I, I picked them up uh, fairly cheap and uh, sent them off, got them rebuilt, um, and they haven't shown up yet, uh, but they should be here later tonight. Uh, so we'll probably get some shocks mounted on this thing. And on top of that, um, I did order uh, a set of uh, shackle flip brackets. Um, that means this is basically exactly how this is right now, except it's going to go opposite. Um, and that should be a four inch lift kit, um, just with the shackle flip. So we'll see what that does for us. Um, hopefully it's an improvement and also, um, sitting in here in the cab, you'll see a set of coil springs, not a hundred percent sure yet, but those possibly are two inches or four inches taller than the uh, set of springs that I have in the front of my truck. So I'd give it a little bit of a lift, give it a little bit more travel, um, but I won't know until I try to pull the springs out. And I have never pulled the springs out, so I have no idea how tall they are, where, where they sit, um, any of that happy stuff. Uh, but some of the stuff that I know that we're gonna try to complete here, um, at least in my head, I would love to try to complete here is, um, we're gonna take out inner fender wells. Um, the main core support here. And hopefully come back and go to our wonderful cage that we built 
and put in here um, and build a front hoop off of it. Uh, get a front hoop, uh, some make, shape, or form in here. Uh, hopefully we'll, when we do it, we'll, we're gonna try to kinda plan to possibly upgrade the front uh, front suspension components, uh, you know, with uh, maybe like a coilover shock or something. So we'll keep that in mind when we're making this front hoop, but that is not gonna happen for this next race. So something else that was decided, um, I think this truck is gonna forever live its life as a tough truck. Um, and that's pretty much it, just a toy, tough truck. So um, I, before I was thinking about leaving the heater in there cause it would be nice to have a heater when it's cold. Um, I know it doesn't have an air conditioner, but uh, I, I also, you know, came to terms with the fact that I'm probably going to be wearing a fire suit every time I am driving this. So I don't necessarily need a heater. So we're going to do some more gutting um, under the dash here um, and some of the wiring and all of that stuff. And if all goes amazingly well, um, I might start kind of decorating up the, the inside, make some uh, make some door panels out of some tin or whatnot it just depends on what i got time for um but yeah we'll end up taking all the the heater stuff out uh probably just bypassing this making it super simple uh cutting the hose here and whoop, right back into the manifold um because i don't know i am I'm not 100% sure unless I pull the hose off and look because I don't remember from when I did the uh, timing chain cover. Um, actually, I could probably go back and look at that video. Uh, if the um, outlet on the water pump right there that goes into the heater core, um, if that can be plugged off with, uh, with just a regular pipe plug or something. but. I don't know, have to look and see if everything can just be plugged off or if I'm gonna have to bypass it just with a hose. Um, other things, you know, we get rid of the core support here. Obviously we're gonna have to figure out radiator mount. Um, I have a tranny cooler. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure that stuff out. I mean, shackle flip in the back. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out brake line because that's gonna uh, create a lift. Right, so lots of work to do, um, lots of work to do. You wanna do one or two things um, and it creates a whole bunch of small things that have to be done to make them successful. So um, is, is what the goal is. Uh, <laughs> uh, how, how much we get done, I guess is gonna be 100% dependent on uh, how much time I can devote to it and uh, when the modified comes back to the garage uh, so we can work on the modified again to get ready to go race. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll stop messing around here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get some measurements off these front fenders here. Uh, get a measurement from one side to the other side because once the core supports out, it won't have those mounts anymore. And if I intend on putting those fenders back on uh I'll, i'd like to kind of put them where they go so um it'd be nice to have a measurement to to know that so all right get to work all right guys uh i don't know i i thought i'd take this time to maybe do a little unboxing <laughs> so oh jeez okay it's a heavy box um, FOA shocks. Um, we got them back from being rebuilt. Again, I bought a used set of shocks um, and sent them to FOA and they rebuilt them. Um, I did give them a really long description of uh what we were going to use them for you know basically the tough truck uh, i sent them um, uh, links to the videos of what we did with the tough truck um 
That way they would have a really good idea of what I was looking at um, to get out of the shocks. So FOA shocks, um, they sent it to me in a nice, beautiful box. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is, I say that because the box I shipped, shipped them to them in was, um, well, it was god awful. Let's just uh, leave it at that. Uh, so let's uh, let's dig into this thing here. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Packaged up decently. Still got some uh, oil on the outside of it. You can tell it was um, it was definitely rebuilt, but uh, only that. That's um, this is different color, so this definitely got replaced. Um, this is awesome. Okay, I pull one out. Oh, it looks like they're giving me they gave me the mounting hardware stuff I need. That's awesome because I think I was missing a couple. Um, let me set this down without trying to trying to drop them. Yeah, so there's two shocks in there. We're just gonna look at them. Look at the one. Okay, so it's a pretty, yeah, pretty stiff on the rebound, it seems. Oh, I can keep pulling it out here. Again, these are 16 inch travel shocks, so I got a ways to go. <laughs> oh, but, so it seems like it's really stiff on the rebound, and... really easy on the compression so I think that's gonna be really awesome uh, I think that's you know that's kind of what you want when you're you're jumping a truck right um, you want it to to compress uh, nice and quick in, um, in the springs it makes it uh, makes it softer but you don't want it to especially in the rear you don't want it to unload super hard um, or super fast because that's kind of how you get that that bucking right if you have way too much spring in the back and uh, and the the shocks just aren't you know uh, and the shocks are just letting that spring explode super quick um, you're gonna end up with that bucking effect um, towards the back of the back of the truck and the back of our truck is really light right so um because we all we have are our gutted bedsides back there we don't we don't really have a whole lot of weight towards the rear of the truck in fact that's what part of what we're going to be working on is getting some more weight off the front of the truck to try to even it out a little bit um because even when we were uh competing last time especially after the shocks blew um, it launched really well a handful of times um, and then once the shocks went um, it started bucking especially once the we lost the right front tire right and then it, it and then it really started to buck hard so um, I think those shocks are gonna work out great now it's a matter of getting them mounted up properly and we're really gonna put FOA uh, through their paces and uh, I've never never used their stuff before in the past um, so this is gonna be a first so far I am thoroughly impressed with um, the customer service they did a really good job um, getting back to me and talking to me about um, uh, about the shocks and kind of what I kind of what my goals and stuff were and the rebuild price for these were phenomenal uh, like it was very very reasonable um, and they're not sponsoring this video they're not sponsoring me in any way shape or form I'm just a customer um, and so far I'm imp I'm impressed so um, hopefully hopefully they perform as well as the rest of the process of dealing with FOA um, has gone so far and I 
I, I kind of like that I ended up going, getting these shocks and going with them because they're out of Las Vegas, Nevada, which is um, south of Reno, way south of Reno for some of you who don't really understand where Reno and Vegas are. Like, it's, it's hours, hours and hours and hours and hours away, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, it's like 400 or 500 miles or something like that. It's, uh, I think it's on average about a six hour drive of open freeway um, and hauling butt. It's a six hour drive, so I'm excited for that. Uh, one, more, one more little piece kinda starting to slide into place. Uh, I guess the really hard part with these shocks is now we're gonna have to figure out mounts. Yeah. Okay, fellas, don't get too excited, but now we can see upper skirt. <laughs> um, took out the inner fender wells here. It's a little dark outside. Um, the smoke in the area. There's two ginormous fires going on, like right around our area, and the smoke is is god awful. But the smoke was actually decent. Um, right now so I figured I'd stay out here late and uh, try to get something done so we took the inner fender wells out as you can see there's still a bunch of wires hanging um, and stuff that is connected to the inner fender wells um, sorry not inner fender wells but inner fender um, like here uh, we will end up having to figure out what we're gonna do with all that stuff but Hey, got the um, inner fender wells out, uh, and uh, that's a that's a decent start. So, and as you can see, there's nothing special under here. <laughs> uh, it's stock, stock as stock can be. So, uh, might be tough to see in the dark, but we'll. I'm gonna call it a night for now, and uh, uh, come back at it tomorrow. It is a new day. Uh, now you can see that the uh, inner fender wells are out of there. Um, I have absolutely zero plan of attack for today. Um, so I think it's gonna be a, I'm just gonna start stripping stuff off camera and, and I'll show you what I got done later. Cause I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I <laughs> showed you all that stuff I wanna take out and it's kind of just have at it moment. So, uh, I'm gonna quit talking to you and get to work. Okay, so got the uh, core support out. It's kinda dark out here now. Um, I got the uh, heater, heater core and blower out. Um, I did some stuff in here, but it's too dark to see. But again, more of removing heater core, whatnot, and venting and stuff. Um, I think that's a decent start. Knowing that I took the radiator out, um, I'm going to have to reroute my tranny cooler lines. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, and yeah, and the heater core hoses are disconnected now. So, um, again, bypass that stuff. Uh, Oh, you go to do small things and they create other jobs. <laughs> but um, I think we're going to call it a night for now. Um, make sure you guys um, like and subscribe. And any questions, comments, concerns down below. Um, I'm kind of... I, I know I only have a month um, for the to finish up the truck but I'm um, kind of chomping at the bit to get my modified back into the garage, which hopefully will be um, no later than Saturday. So I'm kind of appeasing myself by working on the truck uh, since the car's not here. So um, we'll see what all we can get done. I'm excited to get a bunch of stuff done here soon. Um, so yeah, we will uh, we'll catch you guys next time.